Zechariah, Zechariah, 11. Open your doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour your cedars. Howl, fir tree, for the cedar is fallen, because the mighty are spoiled. Howl, O ye oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled. A voice of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of the Yardan is spoiled. Thus says Yahuwah Elohai, Feed eth the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahuwah, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, says Yahuwah. But lo, I will deliver eth the men, every one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite eth the land, and out of their land, rather hand, I will not deliver them, and I will feed eth the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, and I fed at the flock. At three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you, that that dies, let it die, and that that is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let the rest eat every one at the flesh of another. And I took eth my staff, even eth beauty, and cut it asunder, that I might break eth my covenant, which I had cut with all, eth all the people. And it was broken in that day. And so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of Yahuwah. And I said unto them, If ye think good, give me eth my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. And Yahuwah said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, a goodly price that I was prized at of them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of Yahuwah. Then I cut asunder eth my other staff, eth even bands, that I might break eth the brotherhood between Yahda and Yashara'el. And Yahuwah said unto me, Take unto you yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land, which shall not visit those that be cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that stands still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd. Rather, woe to the idle shepherd that leaves the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean, dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened.